what's up y'all thank you for stepping into diana's room it's another good day in diana's room if this is your first time here you're welcome my name is nikki but you can call me diana and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to film high quality videos on your iphone yes i'm sorry to the android users this video is for iphone users because that's what i use to film my videos so i'm sorry but you can watch this to learn a thing or two that you can also apply on your phone if you'd like anyway um please stick around and watch this video it's going to be a mouthful I'm sure you guys have watched a thousand videos telling you oh my god this is how you edit on your iPhone or film on your iPhone and blah blah but all oh, these people are annoying me because they use cameras for the most part they use cameras they use their phone maybe for vlogging or once or here and there but this is coming from me I film on my iPhone every single day every single video on my channel was filmed on an iPhone edited with an iPhone and everything on an iPhone I'm going to be doing a second video about how you edit your videos so I'm going to I would have put it in this one video but I didn't want it to be too long so I'm going to split them in two parts and I'm going to show you guys in one part how to edit professionally on your phone without further ado let's just go straight into this video Special and she reckless Remember you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie I'm going to be splitting this in three parts So there's visual and light lighting <laughs> There's sound And there's like other basic equipments you may need As um as you film with your phone so let's go straight into visual and lighting so first thing first i'm sure you've heard this a million times you need to film landscape so that's like this you need to film your videos like this this is the only way you get the proper frame for youtube a film like this if you want to film for instagram that's fine so i'm going to go ahead and screen record my screen now to show you the settings you need to turn on to be able to film high quality videos Thirty FPS and 60 FPS have the best quality. I've never personally used 60 FPS. It's basically 60 frames per second. So it moves really, really, really fast. It's a lot smoother basically. But 30 FPS, I feel like it's decent. It doesn't take up as much memory as 60 FPS would. But if you have like enough memory on your phone, by all means use 60 FPS. It has a better quality. I'm going to switch to 60 FPS now so you guys can see the difference. I don't use it personally because of space which i already mentioned earlier so 30 fps is good as well and you can also use 60 fps so fps basically means frames per second just basically the amount of images that go per second in a collective video video is a collection of images so that's basically what the fps means if that makes any sense you also want to turn on the grid in your camera settings that's basically how i let myself know okay i'm in the center the camera is straight and all that good stuff so turn on your grid it helps a ton i know you've also heard this a million times but always film with your back camera hands down it is the best quality like the difference is is clear and the back camera lens is a lot wider than the front the front is a lot shorter and that's why you see people that vlog with their phones it looks a bit choked compared to if they are filming normally so um always film with your back camera and make sure you clean it before you start so you get a crisp quality so film with your back camera guys you can film with your front camera by all means if you don't have anybody there with you but back camera just gives you the best quality to be honest you have a wider frame to work with basically so that's just amazing to me and also you can concentrate on talking directly to your audience into the lens like if i was filming my front camera I'd probably would be looking at myself and look at how this looks it's not as personable and um engaging as looking inside here i also make that mistake when i film with my front camera i always mistakenly somehow <laughs> i always somehow look at myself and i've been trying like i know it's very awkward to keep looking at the weird little dots on the side when you're filming with the front but you have to try because i think it's a lot more um personable and it feels like you're talking directly to the peep to your audience basically if you're looking in the lens if you don't have anyone around you to help you when you're filming what i basically do is put a mirror so i can see so now i'm looking at myself in the mirror that is behind the camera and it really just helps me out to be honest so 
do that and you'll be fine you can see yourself clearly you can um you know okay i'm not in the middle i'm okay i'm not okay you can kind of test that also what you want to do is when you're filming your videos turn your brightness up to the highest so you can see yourself clearly in whatever it is you're using to look at yourself on the other side and then the next thing you want to do is when you're filming once you start recording on yourself and on your face just hold um hold on to your phone screen for like five seconds and you see something pop up it says a e slash a f it comes up in yellow it just pops up that basically blows out your background a little bit or darkens your background a little bit and makes you the focus of the video and you need that because it helps your lighting as well like if you're filming with natural light for instance lighting can change throughout the day if you start filming in the morning into the afternoon or you just film at different times basically like your lighting can fluctuate throughout your video so you don't need that to happen to you the best thing to do is just use the aeaf lock because once you do that your lighting is locked in and another advice i'll give when using that is once you started filming and you've already done that make sure your phone doesn't lock <laughs> okay because once your phone locks that setting will go away and you have to try and set it up again once you do that you might not get the same lighting it gave you the first time when you started the video so what you want to do is make sure you maintain that setting from the beginning to the end of your videos also put your phone on airplane mode when you're filming your videos it is so important because a random call can come in and just scatter all your settings especially if you're using that aeaf lock once a call comes in and blocks that screen you have to start over again and you might not get that color or vibe you got the first time when you did it but if you're expecting a delivery don't do that don't do that <laughs> the last tip i'll give for this visual part is make sure your background is not distracting so you basically want your background to be as simple as possible don't let it be too distracting that your audience is just looking away from me i'm looking like oh what's going on in the back there make sure it's either plain or aesthetically pleasing something that people will look and be like wow such a vibe like there are a couple of people that i love their background so much and if i get the chance i will up my own ante as well um i usually just film in this plain wall and this little youtube v p pillow <laughs> pillow behind me and sometimes my little bear at the top picks through but it doesn't matter so i'm so i just kind of keep it as simple as possible and not too distracting and if you don't have um a good background or your background is distracting you can just get yourself a backdrop like a nice cloth will do by a nice color and use that behind you when you're filming and that just takes away all the stress of finding a good background. That's kind of my last tip on the visual aspect of this video. If there's anything else I remember after I'm done with this video, I'll add that in the description or as a text or whatever. But now we're going to move on to lighting. Lighting is definitely my favorite part of filming, hands down. I am a sucker for light. So basically for beginners, I don't think you necessarily need to invest in any lighting situation, except you don't have good natural lights in your house. Or in your room or wherever it is you film basically if you're filming with natural light make sure to go closer to the light source so if it's an open door or an open window go closer to that so that way the light hits you better and makes everything a lot clearer than if you sit in your natural position filming with the same natural light like for instance where i'm sitting if i use natural light it's going to be so whack like the quality is not going to be as good and if you do it post-production is just going to be grainy and a little weird so it's better to sit so close to the light source and if you happen to be in an environment where um maybe your room is dark you don't really get good natural lighting in that area i think it's advisable for you to just invest in a ring light or a softbox light for me i think i want to get a i already have a ring light but i want to get a softbox light to add to the lighting because a ring light is kind of like hard light lightning <laughs> lighting <laughs> gosh ring light is hard lighting so i think softbox will kind of soften it and give it the balance i need basically for my videos obviously you can um improve on your lighting and your quality as the years go on and according to your convenience basically but for starters i don't think you necessarily need so much lighting if you have a good natural light source or you might as well just get yourself a ring light like i have i have a ring light it's 18 inches i think it's been serving me it has two batteries um it came with a phone holder it came with a mirror came with a couple of things like i can't even complain it does the job that i needed to do and that tip i'll give is using a reflector like um a reflector can also be a mirror or something of that sort let me show you how 
this reflects on the face. Can you see how much light this has brought to my face? The way I blend, ew, I can see myself there. <laughs> Anyway, can you see how much light this has brought to my face? I think this tip is mostly good for beauty YouTubers because sometimes you want your face to pop a lot more and yeah, but get a reflector. I'm going to put a picture of that round thing, like this round thing that has different colors. So use the silver side, the gold side or whatever side matches the video, your um, video quality. This is not really necessary, but it does help the crispness of your videos. I'll say that much. So another secret weapon that is in the atmosphere that I feel like a lot of people have not tapped into, especially iPhone users and filmers haven't tapped into is this app called Focus Life app. You can find it in Apple store. I don't know if it's on the Play store, if it's available to Android users, but it should be. This Focus Life app, what it basically does is um, it gives you that mad DSLR quality feel. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with me filming with focus live app this is basically what it looks like filming with the focus live app this is 720p at 30 fps and this is what kind of comes free so you guys can see how more professional and zoomed in i look like now that i think about it why don't i use this app i think this is going to be my go-to from now on let me see if i can pay for the 4k quality and then we will talk the major thing this app does is to blow out your background the reason i don't use it for all my videos is because the export quality it gives you is 720p and that's like i know some cameras do um, export at 720p and that's the quality it gives and iphone camera gives 4k which some cameras don't even have like that's just crazy so that's kind of why i stick to my iphone camera the focus life app also gives like 30 fps frames per second so that is great but that 720p really irks me but what i found is that if you pay for the vip you can be you can have access to the 4k quality which would be mad honestly but i already pay for a lot of apps that I, <laughs> i'm not trying to add another one to the app that's exactly why i don't use the focus live app it just gives the dopest dslr feel like you can't tell anyone you didn't film this on a camera like people like nobody's gonna know nobody's gonna know like this is a weapon that i've been keeping in my back pocket that i'm going to start using one day but i just thought i'll share with you guys since we're on the topic so if you don't mind paying for the app you can film at 4k and export at 4k on a 30 um time 30 fps so that's just great oh my god so guys that is it for my visual and lighting tips i hope i've been able to help you guys i hope you guys understood everything i was saying and like i said earlier on if there's anything i forgot to add I'll definitely add that later on so now we move on to sound when it comes to sound people underestimate how important it is your sound is basically 50 percent of your video and the visual is 50 percent as i'm filming like this with my iphone if i wasn't using this mic you will hear everything going on in the background so this is me filming without a mic or anything to enhance my sound and you guys can kind of hear the background noise like it's just like you open something as opposed to like me speaking directly into that mic so yeah this is different so that's why you should invest in one as well so this is me basically talking with the mic and the difference is just clear compared to when i'm talking without it and if you don't want to buy a mic this mic wasn't expensive i think i got it for nine thousand naira which is like twenty dollars ish less or more i don't know but um it's not that expensive and to me it's an investment it basically comes with a pin mount and i have to use this connected cord thing to connect it to my iphone and it does the job like it's just it just does the job it's a lapel mic it's nothing serious like oops this is basically the mic it has a really like you guys the wire that comes with this microphone goes on forever like it literally does go on forever so you can be as far away from your phone as possible and this microphone can follow you if you don't want to do with having a microphone or with buying a microphone and you already have earphones use your earphones by all means there's this part oh my earphones are so far from me i'd have shown you guys there's this part that when you speak into it oh my gosh i need some water <laughs> so there's this part that when you basically speak into your earphones it um gives great sound it's like equivalent to using a microphone like it's just great sound but the problem with using an earphone i have to give you guys the pros and the cons the distance the distance i'm filming at now if i was using if i was using earphones 
it won't be able to get there and catch my sound at the same time it will be too far imagine having it in my ears or holding it like this it just won't be convenient because the distance is a little much but if you're if you're vlogging or you're closer to your camera than i am you can use earphones they're really good or use airpods if you have airpods or you have airpods i think that's what samsung or android users use anything like that that is wireless that is great obviously you don't live in, you don't live on mars you don't live far away from you don't live far away from people there are human beings everywhere like you are in the world so there will definitely be noise here and there or something going on behind the sound so that's why you need something that will help you catch the sound catch yourself a lot closer in the editing part i'll show you guys how to enhance your sound and reduce background noise so you definitely want to check out that video so subscribe right now and click the bell so you know when i post that video i think i'll post it next week or something you have to stick around to find out i think that's basically that for sound but as much as possible make sure you minimize um your background noise if it's closing your windows like a lot of times when i film and i'm talking through like this i close all my windows it's bad for ventilation and all but it's just for the moment i'm filming the video so you want to make sure to minimize your background noise basically it's unrealistic to not have any there will always be background noise but just try as much as possible to minimize it so now for the last part of this video other equipment you could need you definitely do need a tripod i've watched videos where people tell you oh you can just prop up your phone on maybe books or something or something but it doesn't give it's not just like i don't know how to explain <clears throat> i don't know how to explain this but it just doesn't make sense sometimes because it just won't stand like stand there like that like it might but it just won't especially if you're filming with your back camera like you need to hang it on something that you can also kind of see what you're doing on the other side the way i do with my mirror like it just won't work propping up or something won't work so get yourself a tripod like look at me just filming hands-free and not having to worry about oh my phone might bend this way or is my thing straight or not like tripods just make life easier i basically film with my ring lights the stand of my ring lights it came with a phone holder so i just put my phone holder in excuse me i just put my phone in there and film inside my ring light but i do have other tripods i have one and a really old one that was the very first tripod i got when i wanted to start my youtube channel but it wasn't high enough it, it literally was just short like at the fullest length it was short so tripod is broken now but it did come with this cool remote so i basically can start and stop like as i'm i'm at a distance with my phone i don't need to be pre going like to press it so i just click this and it stops recording click it it starts recording like i don't need to stress myself too much so this is definitely a plus from what from that tripod even though i don't use that tripod anymore it has something that is still serving me so it wasn't a total waste of money another thing is backdrops and backdrop stand i've been wanting to get one as well that's why i decided to add it to this video to let you guys know that there's something that can make your life easier when it comes to background as i've mentioned earlier using a backdrop stand and using a backdrop like a backdrop stand is kind of like tripods like two tripods and a rod on top of it and just clip your backdrops to it and it just basically just gives you like the greatest background ever like a nice color smooth and everything and you just be good to go so i think a backdrop stand can be necessary for you if you don't have a um, good background that's basically all there is to equipment i've mentioned the rest like a microphone remotes all these things i've already mentioned them in the other parts so that's all the tips i have for you guys today um I know i kind of said a mouthful and i was just talking and talking and talking but truthfully these things will really take your video qualities to the next level like you won't even believe it like it's just going to be next level like i said earlier on if there's anything i forgot to mention i'll put that in the description or if you guys have any questions please leave them for me in the comment section and i'll be sure to respond to them um and if you'd like to see me do more videos like this by all means let me know and i'll gladly oblige okay anyway I, that's it for this video i hope it has really helped someone out and if you are a beginner starting your youtube channel in 2021 these tips will help you get good quality as you start your channel yeah this is basically all the things i do that help my quality look good even though i use an iphone like and i decided to share with you guys all my tips and tricks and everything i do and everything i think could work for you so i hope you guys appreciate it and if you've actually watched this video to this point please it won't cost you anything to click the subscribe button and click the bell as well so you get a notification every time i post a video i post videos twice every week share with anyone you think this might help and lord please do all these things 
leave comments for me in the comment section like all oh, this helped me grow thank you so much guys for sticking to the end of this video and i'll see you in my next one until then let's get it together this video. <laughs>